I, well, I was never really allowed to listen to hip hop as a kid. My family's really conservative, but um, when I was in grade three, I was in grade three, grade three or four, I traded my lunch for a Maestro Fresh West like cassette. And he's like a Canadian legend in hip hop. I ended up opening for him like two years ago. So it was cool, like, uh, I didn't eat all day. I was super hungry, but I went home and listened to that tape, and it was just really cool. Never really heard anything like that before. Had to hide it from my parents, but um, yeah, that was the first album. And then I, I uh, stole um, Miseducation of Lauren Hill from my sister, my older sister, and, and that was another album that really transformed my life. So. I grew up in a musical family and I was kind of put in violin and piano like really young, like since like three or four. And I hated music. Like I didn't ever want to be a part of it. I didn't even listen to music. Um, I hated it. And I, try, I quit every instrument I learned and then finally um, I, I started having problems at school and uh, having like anger issues and then I started writing whenever I'd be upset. So I'd write like, just write out my feelings and then I started putting rap behind that and I started, you know, memorizing other rap songs and started freestyling around grade six and fell in love with it. When I, when I made the song Calgary, um, I set out uh, to kind of showcase the music scene. So I mentioned a bunch of artists, there's like 30 bands mentioned. Um, and I had a lot in the video and, and I really just wanted to like um, make something that could be seen all over Canada and all over the world even with the video um, and kind of just like show people another side of Calgary because I mean the stampede is so publicized and, and all these aspects are, are so um, promoted. I wanted to promote the art scene and say like you know we're not all cowboys or whatever and you know I, I kind of thought it was a long shot to be able to do what I wanted it to do but I mean it, I ended up you know being in McLean's magazine for it and, and Globe and Globe and Mail was writing about how Calgary's changing and they quoted my song and you know Mayor Nenshi ended up quoting my song and it was just like it was just really cool like just to see um, how it actually was sparking up interest and I mean there was a bunch of people who got offended and a lot of people thought that I was you know trying to kill the cowboy off but really I was just trying to showcase the arts and so I mean it was pretty awesome how it took off and changed a lot of people's minds right so I've been here I need your help so I can listen to that like so when I feel bad about myself, you know? Which is good. That's why rap that's why all rappers rap. It's cause we just need validation. Right? Like, I mean you can control a whole bunch of people. I'm like, hey, say oh for no reason and you do it. You know? And it makes me feel good because nobody listens to me. I'm like the baby of my family, you know? So that's why I started rapping. Anyways, if anyone's journalists out there, anyways.